For example, when you said in one of your major exercise speeches that the vice president was applied, did you mean that literally? Or were you only using a figure of speech? I did not mean that literally, sir. Yes, ma'am, because obviously the vice president is not applied. <laughs> but uh, when you did say that, you could have been referring to the certain characteristics of a fly which you are attributing to Vice President Laurel. For example, one of the possible interpretations of your own use of the word is that uh, he is a pest, a nuisance, because a fly is an insect. Am I that correct? That is one possible interpretation. Yes, uh, that is one possible interpretation. Another interpretation is that normally a fly does not bite and uh, is inconsequential, sir. <laughs> Still a figure of speech. And uh, one of the possible uh, interpretations might even be that uh, a fly being known to be a denizen of the garbage pit, a carrier of disease, that you are referring to the president as such. Do you agree with me? Objection, Your Honor. The question was already answered. <laughs> I never asked that question, Your Honor. What's the meaning of the statement, uh, the, like a fly? No. I'm by talking the, about possible interpretation, Your Honor. By the way, what is the uh, relevance of this uh, line of questioning to the main issue at bar? To show, Your Honor, that uh, the use of generally innocent words to convey or drive home a point, even if they are a misstatement of fact do not necessarily constitute liar. Is it your position that the, uh, the words or terms hid under the bed is uh, generally innocent? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Without any window, the mere act of hiding under the bed is a purely innocent act, unless you happen, of course, to be hiding from a cuckolded husband. Uh, just a few that uh, we have to uphold the freedom of the press, but I hold also that along with the freedom comes a very serious uh, responsibility and obligation, sir. That was the point I was driving at. Use your microphone. Why? Why did you single out Mr. Beltran? If, as you say, others have been writing ill against you, well, because it is only Mr. Beltran who wrote what I, what I believed was a blatant lie because he wrote that I hid under the bed and in fact he wrote, if you will recall, uh, purporting to say that this was an established fact, sir. That, madam, with all due respect, is the best answer that you can give to my question. Already answered you or no? No, I'm asking her if that's the best answer that she can give to my question. All right, let him, uh, let him answer. Whatever answers I give you today, sir, those are my best answers, and those are the answers that I believe are true and come from both my heart and my mind, sir. Do your, does your government, your administration adhere to the principle laid down in the United States versus Bustos case, the landmark case on libel, which says complete liberty to comment on the conduct of public men? is a scalpel in the case of free speech. Of the sharp incision of its probe relates the abscesses of official damage. Men in public life may suffer under a hostile and an unjust accusation, but the wound can be assuaged with the balm of a clear conscience. A public officer must not be too thin-skinned. Does your administration adhere to that principle? 